Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a walkthrough video for MathSalamanders.com. This is a walkthrough specifically for using parentheses and exponents. This is sheet 5.1. Let's go ahead and get started. So it's saying to remember PEMDAS. That's parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. One thing to remember about PEMDAS is parentheses is first, obviously, exponents second, but then these are in tandem, multiplication, division, and that is whatever appears first, left to right, and the same thing for addition and subtraction. So don't think multiplication comes before division. That's not how it works. It's whatever comes first, left to right, for both addition, subtraction, and multiplication, division. With that being said, let's go ahead and start looking at number one. Number one, we have parentheses, we have multiplication, we have addition, we have exponents, we have all those things. But again, the first thing we need to do is parentheses. So I look here and I see I have parentheses. And this is a really cool worksheet because it kind of lays out for us the steps that we have to take. It kind of walks you through the process. So this set of parentheses right here corresponds to this parentheses, or not that blank, I should say. So this parentheses right here corresponds to that green blank over there. And then that times two is obviously this times two. So it kind of you know takes us step by step. It's a nice little diagram for us. First thing I should do inside the parentheses, okay, so I'm looking inside the parentheses, and as I'm inside the parentheses, I do the same thing. I go through PEMDAS. Are there any other parentheses? No. Are there exponents? Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And we see that there are exponents, so I'm gonna do that first. Two to the third power I know is eight. That's two times two times two. That's what exponents are, uh, repeated multiplication. And then I have plus one. So if I do eight plus one inside the parentheses, I'm gonna get nine, and that's gonna go in my blank right there. And then that times two, we already established, is that times two. So this times two just mirrors that one. So our answer is going to be nine times two, which is 18. It's as simple as that. So this is a great worksheet for kind of walking you through order of operations. Let's go ahead and do a couple more. So now we have, Let's change this to that light green color. We have this parenthesis we're gonna do first, and that corresponds to this blank right here. And then as I said earlier, this three is that three. Okay, well I did it with times two, but you get what I'm saying. Now, on to the parenthesis. Again, we're gonna follow order of operations again. Are there parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction? I don't think I can say that any faster. So we have five plus four squared. We know four squared is 16. We're gonna start here because that's exponents. Okay, don't do five plus four, nine, and then square it. That's a very common mistake. People do, oh, five plus four, that's nine. I'm gonna square that, I get 81. No, that's a drastically different answer. Don't do that, don't be that guy. So we have five plus 16, that gives us 21. And I can go ahead and put it right in that blank right there. Now I have three plus 21. Now that I'm done with that parenthesis, and move on to the next thing in the big picture here. Okay, the big picture, I'm done with my parentheses. Check, there's no other multiplication or division or exponents. So I move on to addition and subtraction. There's only addition. So I do three plus 21, I get 24 as my answer. It's as simple as that. This worksheet's great at working this out and I can kind of just you know, highlight a few things for you just so you know what you're doing. Uh, this 20, this is gonna, it's gonna get remove some of the training wheels as you go along, corresponds to that blank. And then this parenthesis, this is for number five, corresponds to that blank. So I can just go ahead and copy down that 20. And then for this three squared minus seven, well, I need to do this process again. I get nine exponents first minus seven, that's gonna be two. So I put that there, 20 times two, that is, I'm doing lots of different colors here, that's gonna give me 40 as my answer. Uh, let's see if there's any more complicated ones. Here's one with division, okay? Same process though. This time we didn't have addition on the outside, but we're still gonna follow, oops, that's a different color, not a big fan. We're still gonna follow the order of operations. Ooh, we have exponents twice here, that's interesting. And then we also have this number here. So the 24 is just gonna get copied down, looks like, but I should follow order of operations first just to see if that is gonna be the number that goes in that blank. But I'm pretty sure this 24 is gonna go there and then this uh, result of that parentheses is gonna go here. Okay, that's generally how this worksheet is set up. So we have four squared, that's 16, and then minus two to the third power, that is eight. That We already established that's two times two times two, three times. Okay, that's what exponents are. Okay, 
So now I do 16 minus 8. I had to do my exponents first. Check, check. Now I can do subtraction. 16 minus 8 is just 8. And now I have to do 24 divided by that. So 24 divided by that 8. And that gives me 3. 3 is going to be my answer. And I, I know I changed it to blue, but it's the same thing. All right, let's do maybe one more of this section, and then we'll move on. I'm going to do all purple, okay, because you are not going to have highlighters maybe like I have. So I know that this one is going to go here, and then this squiggly one is going to go here. That's something you could do with your pencil if you want. So I have 9 squared, and I can put that down as 81. And now I have to do this exponents and multiplication. Exponents first, 8 times 10, and I know that's 80. So I do 81 minus 80. And that is just one. So the next section is uh, using a calculator just because they're a little bit bigger numbers. But again, same process we're doing here. We have this x or parentheses first that we're going to do. So we have 100. This is going to be 144 minus 100. Those are those two uh, squares right there. And that gives me 44. And then times, there's the times, okay, times, times times 16. So of course, that's a kind of a bigger number I'm working with. Luckily, I have my calculator right handy next to me. 44 times 16, and I have 704 as the answer. So this is a calculator section. It's just, again, same process. You just make sure you're staying organized here. That's the key. Okay, so this green needs to go there, that result. And then this blue, whatever you get for 9 squared, it's 81, goes right here. So then you multiply them together on your calculator, and you're done. Okay, so pretty uh, straightforward section. But if you have any questions, leave a comment, and I will help you with that question. So last three expressions that we're supposed to evaluate here, we have smallest to largest. So we're going to have to use a calculator to help us with this. I like this one because it's telling us that we have 6 cubed. Okay, so again, we need to understand that that means 6 times 6 times 6. Okay, and actually, I don't know that off the top of my head. 216. So this is 216. I'm not writing it down below here. Minus 5 squared. Well, I know that's 25. And I keep this in parentheses. Times 8. So I need to do 25 times 8. And then I need to subtract that from 216. I, uh, 25 times 8 was 200. And then I get tw uh, 216 minus 200. That is 16. So that's pretty small. But maybe these, some of these other ones are smaller. Let's move on to the next one. So 10, uh, 10 cubed is just going to be 10 with three zeros divided by 25. So 1,000, I think that's 40, divided by 25, and it is 40. Okay, so 40 is in this parenthesis, minus, and this is going to be 25 times 2, that's 50. So 40 minus 50, that is negative 10. Okay, so we're off to an interesting start. We have 40 minus 50, we get negative 10. And now we're on to our last one. So this guy, 16, was actually fairly large compared to negative 10. Now we have 15 squared. I believe that's 225. Okay, minus 100. So we had 225 minus 100. And then we divide that by 5. So 225 minus 100 is 125. So 125 divided by 5 should give us 25. And it is 25. So our least one is actually this expression. So we could go ahead and write that answer. We have negative 10, then we have 16, and then we have 25. So this was the first one, this was the second one, and this was the third one plops down for the largest expression. So that's all we have uh, for this worksheet. There's tons of other Mass Sale Managers worksheets I have on this channel. So go ahead and click on the playlist if you want to see more. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.